All right, back for a another league today. Death Shadow went out and burned some energy with the puppy. He is on the Naptown USA right next to me. Trying this deck out again today, just switching up a couple of cards and going back into it. Not too much to say. So I'm going to jump back in. Or let's just hashing out, hashing out the last three or four cards here before we go back to work full day tomorrow and then choose to play it on um, on whatever it is on Saturday for the challenge. Really like this day. Let's hope that uh, let's hope that we figure out what's going on here and get a good list. couple other decks that I want to give a whirl after this challenge this weekend. Probably do something brand new. I want to play some more, I want to play some more zoo decks, I think. I want to play some tribal zoo, go back and visit Revisit Naya Zoo. Like it's Turtle Eggs. I don't recognize my opponent's name. Alright. On the play, which is sweet. And his hand is decent. So let's see what I. Hopefully, we'll play against a little creature deck. So unless we draw discard spells, this hand's not very good against, against a uh, combo deck. I actually just woke up from a nap too. Both me and the pupper were just worn out today. I wonder if I traverse. I wonder if it's right for me to traverse on one for a land to start to work my way up to this blood bright elf. Because I can, like, eventually, hopefully, Colagon's command of discard a card returns to the if I need to. I really would like to command back my blood red elves. I think that's that's the big game move. Always making another label in a six, which is always always good for the home team. Wouldn't mind seeing a discard spell. Okay. Now that we have the third land, I really don't I don't want to fire off this traverse unless I need to for us. Okay. So now I might fire this off for Yeah, we're just gonna go we're gonna go get our forest. Then this can fetch for Swamp. And we're not going to get Blood Moon out of this game. I do have Delirium after this uh, Lightning Bolt resolves. And I'm probably going to go fetch Shock and Bolt myself if he goes to Blood Moon me right here. Just so that if I Cascade into a Death Shadow that I can cast it. Give me one second.
Sorry about that. Just had a quick work thing. So now I get swamp. This resolves. I pass. Probably shouldn't have played that for us, to be honest. I should have kept it up in order to hold up, like, in case the Northern Stone Rain, my basics. Yeah, that was a mistake, especially considering I'm K-commanding this turn, regardless. It does suck that my opponent kind of took the initiative back here. Got back on the play. Don't stone rain me. If it is a stone ring that I messed up, yeah, I definitely messed up. All right, um, return target creature card from your graveyard. Target player discards a card. Well, I didn't hit my forest. So there is that at least. Okay, so we get mom and pop out of there. For a Tarmogoyf. That is not a Tarmogoyf. Big hits for us off this Blood Bite Elf will be like a cat, I'll be anything I can cascade into. Like a Traverse, or anything I could, no, excuse me. A big hit off this Blood Bite Elf will be anything that can get this off the battlefield. Chandra. Tracker. Okay, so. Oh gosh, I have six through that. Still waking up. Okay, Thought Seize, Death Shadow. Alright, well, we're just gonna cascade. Cast that. Get into this. Attack Chandra. It's a little frustrating. We'd have had that dead if I wouldn't have had an auto pass through my opponent's turn. Such as Moto Life sometimes, from time to time. Armor Elf. So they have Armor Elf's their only card. They only hit an Armor Elf. That's frustrating. I mean, we're going to be able to bolt this Chandra down, which is what's really important. Armor Life. Or Blood Bay Elf. Okay, Abrupt Decay is not good because I can't cast it. Attack Chandra. He's probably gonna like. He's probably not gonna let this through. But so it was an unfortunate draw. Okay. Need a tar. Need Tarmoif. Tarmoif is what we're looking for here. Is not a Tarmogoyf. Are you a Tarmogoyf? Come on. Damn it. A green, red. We've got four Goyfs, two Elves, and three Traversers left. Probably a Traverse for a Blood Ray Elf if I draw one. Like, Elf's pretty mean on this board, and I don't really. Like, it has a chance to hit something else that can get me back onto this front of this Blood Moon. They stone rain my forest, I'm just gonna call it. Alright, we are, we are we are good with this game here. Alright. So, this is where we side on our grindy stuff. And then look to get underneath. Our opponents. We want the decay, bolts and pushes. The brutalities might not be super great. Yeah, I think when I cut two brutalities, I'd rather have, my, my other cards are just better. I can take out one of these and then bring in 
another brutality or fatal push. Just go like this, probably. Yeah, we'll run this back here. first. Sands okay. Sands pretty pretty cold to a blood moon. If they have two blood moons in my hands, it's pretty, pretty rough. But they mulligan. We should get a creature down. They can't, they're gonna, they really struggle killing a tarmal leaf. This tarmal is huge. They mulligan to five jeans. That is rough. They put a card on the bottom. They're drawing a blood moon. Okay. Alright, so they have Infernal Titan, they double Infernal Titan. Really need to find something to get some basics or to get this tunnel wave down. I could have like waited on the moon on the discard spell for the moon, but if they have a second one, then I just wasted my whole turn and do anything. Okay, I'm going to lightning bolt myself at the end of the turn. Got to get this death shadow in play before this blood moon starts to take this game over. That's not bad. So I can just say like screw it and go to seven and just like try to kill my opponent before this becomes relevant. This blood before yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Well Nah, I'm gonna just gonna get this. If we can get one Death Shadow down, we should be okay. My opponent might not even hit the land for the Blood Bray for the, uh, for the Blood Bray, you never know. Just try to play around it a little bit. My opponent tries to bolt my Shadow, I'll just bolt myself. Alright. So this is how this game is going to go. I have to try to kill them before this Titan becomes relevant. We can actually answer the first Titan. Bolt myself, let it resolve. That's, a, like, that's probably the best draw in my deck right there. Kraken. My opponent's at least three turns off of this Inferno Titan, and we're killing them in two. So they're gonna need something. We can kill like a, we can at least get something important off the board. Like that can be a, can be a stopper. It's like a Blood Raid Elf. Okay, that doesn't matter. I'm gonna Fatal Push that. Now my opponent's dead through a block next turn. They don't, yeah, they don't have a draw to get them out of this. All right, one game two. Some highly interactive magic on both sides. Um, I don't really know what else I should have in. I probably could have this fatal push in because it's on the draws. It's the brutalities are gonna be too slow to do what I really want. Maybe I should just have all my brutalities out and just play these K commands, because at least the K command I can cast with one swamp. I can like shock myself and turn street race. Yeah. It's not pretty, but now there's any anything to do with this match is pretty. Hence the the Blood Moon Life. Oh, 
Hope okay, everyone's well. Three people watching this morning are having a good or this afternoon. It's already this afternoon. I feel like I wasted away my morning or my day. Uh, so I have a I have a stubborn denial for the first really important thing, and I can scry. And I can fetch both my basics if I need to. I think I'm gonna keep the sand. Like Battle Rage is one of my better cards. I could, if somebody told me they were unloading this hand, I would 100% BR. I would like, I'd get it. <clears throat> Just both of these cards are pretty impactful, and I get a redraw. If I can find a threat, I'm in pretty good shape. We don't want this to be an Arbor Elf. Is this an Arbor Elf? They can do like the Utopia Sprawl. Okay. going to scry and if I don't like it I'm gonna fetch it away if I do like it then I'm gonna keep it just hope that our opponent doesn't have double blood moon I'm gonna keep that because it's a uh, it's like a redraw and it gets us closer to delirium we're just gonna hope that my opponent doesn't have two moons I'll take a stone ring like that's fine we just don't want double blood moon okay so don't have double blood moon but we are going to take the first one. I can stub the first Chandra. The Bloodbright Elf is going to be an issue. Misty Rainforest. So if I play this, I'm going to be able to get into this Chandra with this Battle Rage. So I think I'm just going to... Let me go... Cycle this. Yeah, especially with that lightning bolt. So I'm just gonna get this Tarmalite down. And then we'll be able to ride behind this Tarmalite for the Stubborn Denial back up. Hopefully they just cast Blood Ray Elf and not Chandra. But even if they, because like they can't really cast Chandra because Tarmalite will eat it. Okay, so they have a Kessig Wolf run. Really hoping that this doesn't Blood Moon into Lightning. Molten Rain, that's fine. We can beat that. That's another very good draw. So am I just racing 5-3? Yeah, I think I am. This is actually this is actually I killed him next turn with Battle Rage. So like I stub. The Chandra, bolt them, battle rage my life. That's the game plan here. Mom and pop is annoying. Now I can bolt something. I really don't want to have to bolt anything next turn. So I think I'm actually just going to take care of this mom and pop. And then I can traverse for a death shadow and play a death shadow. Or, and then still have stubborn denial up. They have, I know my opponent's hand. So if I bolt this, attack next turn, traverse for death shadow, play death shadow. Or I could just hold this, and if my opponent doesn't block, I just kill them. My neighbor's alarm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna like hope they don't block. Okay, that's another really good draw.
Oh, I went to combat. No, that's bad. So now we lost our opportunity to go full battle rage. I think I'm just gonna thought seize the Chandra. No, that's just crazy. I can actually beat the Chandra. Yeah. I'm just gonna beat that shadow. And then like the battle rage next turn means they have to block with two things. I just I don't think they have a draw next turn that gets them out of this. I'm just gonna stop talking crazy. Like dot sees seven attack. They block this. They're dead. That's block this. They block this. They die. If they block this, they die. If I draw a fetch land and I kill them, like basically through a blocker. I didn't really think about it too hard, but I don't think they have a draw that kills me. All right, play your moon. No, I can't even do it. Is that grows my shadow? Yeah, so now my opponent's like super dead. Attack my opponent. These combat decks just cannot be Battle Rage or Stubborn Denial ever. And that's why like I'm comfortable playing the Bloodbright Elves in my main deck. Because I know that my sideboard strategy is so strong against these combo decks that I'm willing to take a hit for in game in all these game one matchups like yes having having blood right off my deck against like ad nauseum is not very good but even if i like sometimes i can win that game I, my deck's still strong enough against combo decks where i can win that matchup and then sometimes it gets even better it gets, it gets just way better after sideboard and like lets me shave this stuff in order to play better games against the uh play better games against fair decks, which is going to be some of the harder matchups. Um, I'm going to keep this. We can scry. We have a bunch of interaction. We have a bunch of redraws. It's going to be difficult to get to the elf. Let's see what we've got going on here. That's another land, so I do believe we want that. So I'm going to go like this. Play this out. Draw my first card. And then I would be willing to bet there's... I, I doubt I'm not going to take any damage from this ball. Mag. I could take... I don't even want to take another shot from this. I just need to preserve my life total. Though, if I do take another shot from it, I can play Death Shadow next turn. So I think I'm going to take one hit. I think we're going to want K Command. Blood Crypt. Push this. I 
probably has like a million spells in their hand, which is very scary. Alright, well we might be able to race them out of this. Let's go get an overgrown tomb, play a 1-1 death shadow. If my opponent tries to like bolt me or bolt my shadow, I can bolt myself in order to survive. Like it in order to allow it to survive. I could have got an overgrown tomb with my first land in order to give me the opp the opportunity to go like swamp into Tarmogoyf, which might have been good. It was on my face. Alright. So I'm gonna start throwing these bolts at my opponent. Alright, I just concede. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna bring in the card, these cards here. Gonna cut the elves, the commands. Oh, I don't want this spell bomb. I want this fatal push. I'm gonna leave in one street wraith. I used to leave in two street wraiths and cut two thought seizures, but. With how I've slimmed down on one mana discard spells for Red Elf Game in the format, I want another. I want to keep all my one mana interaction. I don't want to die. Oh. Get this. Take this. Always forget I can do that now. I don't want to die with spells in my hand. That's the biggest thing I hate about Magic as much, and I hate it when people play like the way and they do it, like when they're on the way out and they don't try to force something to make something happen, and they just die with spells in their hand. That's like one of my biggest pet peeves in Magic. So I think I've got a mulligan this hand. While this is like a very, potentially a very good, like I'm only halfway to Delirium, so I think I've got to ship this. Don't have a Death Shadow. This hand's like a little bit worse. Hopefully they have a creature heavy draw, but I'm going to go down lower than this. Um, I think I'm going to keep this because it allows me to, if my opponent doesn't have a lot of creatures, that allows me to, you know, like change that up a little bit. Okay. I get a stomping round and lightning bolt something if I, if I think that that's the best way to go about this, but now I'm just going to get a tap land. I'm going to get a tap stop the ground. Okay. So that's part of what we need. So now, because I drew the death shadow, I'm going to force a little bit of action. This should get like a skull crack or something like that, maybe from my opponent. Hey, I love it. You play Tom Shadow. I've played Grixis since the end. Band. I have not. I've played Grixis at all since the end. Band. I do plan on doing that at some point though. So two, four, eight, eleven. gain life off this too. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna take this deflecting pump. I need to get my Death Shadow in play. And be able to attack with it. Like my opponent's got 10 points of damage, 11 points here, I'm at 15. So they need to draw two more spells. Yeah, I haven't I haven't played a lot of Grixis since the unban. I've been pretty excited about playing with Bloodbraid Elf. As soon as I get done like As soon as I get done like preparing for things, then I'll, I'll look into that. So, unfortunately we have two black spells and I think I've got to try to, um, I can't really, like use my whole turn, like I don't want to trade a lightning bolt for this portal, or I don't want to trade this, one of these two for this, and then not do anything with my turn. 
So if my opponent tries to kill this death chat, I'm gonna bolt my face. Cause I'll it's it's effectively like life point neutral for me because Okay, so they charm me, right? Lightning Bolt X. Untap. Take care of this. Attack my opponent. I should be able to finish them off next turn. Because they're going to use a burn spell here, or they should at least. They're going to use one like at the end of the turn, which is going to make this eight, then I'll bolt them. Sweet, I'd love to give it a go. Uh, first of all, saying that it could be really good. Do I do love these toys? Yeah, I like... I like all kinds of Death Shadow. I haven't, I don't really thought about it. I have to look at, I have no idea how, I wasn't a very good Grixis Shadow player. Like I played it from time to time. I kind of did it more when I was messing around. Like I tried Grixis, Grixis Shadow with like Charter Course and that was sweet, but I didn't, I didn't take it very seriously. So I would have to look, I wonder what the decks look like. And it is something that I would like to at least explore. Just to be informed, if anything else, like to know, oh, these are how the Grixis decks are built after they're built now. So it's a different art lightning bolt than they had, so they have another bolt here. Okay, so we beat a creature. We don't beat an Eidolon. Alright, yeah. Couldn't, couldn't get that one covered. What do we have coming? Liliana would not have saved me. We're just going to hit submit. I like this deck the way that it is. You'll burn. They'll get you. So I guess even if I could have thought seized away a lightning bolt, I would have been at three and still died with that sequence of draws. So there wasn't, um, there wasn't like a chain that could have fixed me there. This hand's pretty good though. Going on Williams. This is a hand where we're likely going to let some damage through to start so that we can get this shadow down on two. Like if my opponent plays a goblin guide here, I'll actually just take the first shot. Now we're going to pass. He probably end step smokes me here. The good thing is I can get my shadow down no matter what next turn. Okay, so I go down to fetch out, fetch out, six. I'm gonna take ten here and get my shadow in play next turn with stubborn denial back up. So watery grave. I'm gonna push the idol on. We're not gonna bolt it. We're gonna save that bolt for potentially bolting ourselves, make our shadow larger, bolting our opponent out of the game to change the race. I was messing around with Bug. I love Stub. 
Twenty more. Well, I've logged over legacy and into the old paper. Yeah, I, I would say that you have some similar. There's some similarities there. That's gas. That drop was the absolute stones. I probably should have left open my red source so that I could bolt myself because I don't have ferocious turned on. Yeah, there's there's a lot of I mean Grixis is like it's it does it it does it it does its thing well, you know? My opponent goes like land, lightning bolt, lightning bolt, I'm gonna scroll off. Absolutely puke. Um Yeah, like Grixis does what it does very well. Okay, so I think I'm gonna brutality my opponent. This can give me stomping ground if I want another black source. Probably should have played it so that I had stuff turned on. That was a mistake. I tossed that one. Because I could go like fetch stub. Yeah, that was a pun. That was a pun. We could be we could get punished for that. Potentially 18 damage this turn. If my opponent Boros charms me in response, just any burn in response, I'll probably let this happen. Yeah, now they're dead. Because this is 7, Fetch Shock is 10, and I go 3. Got him. Just take their card, doesn't matter. So we're gonna fetch land, and then we just kill them. And we get in there for 20. My opponent should just, I don't know, that's, that's a tough spot to play for burn. Lost, to cast Felix, which is what he was thinking about. And he wouldn't have lost exactly on that turn, because he would have gone to 22, I would have gone to 4, I would have attacked him for 10, I would have let the first lava spike, I would take a bonus turn with the first lava spike resolve, then let the second, stub the second lava spike. So there's not really much my opponent could do there to interact with me. Like, he was just pretty much dead no matter what. Which is oftentimes what happens when you play against Death Shadow. They put you in such a squeeze when you're playing against Burn. If they thread the needle underneath you, there's not a lot you can do. Shock Trapa, this guy is a Mono Blue Tron. And my hand's pretty good against Mono Blue Tron. So. Probably fetching Overgrown Tomb on one. I'll cycle first, so we don't have to make that decision. I guess now I'll scry. Abrupt Decay should be good against what he's doing. Okay, let's take this repeal so we can just get this Tarmogoyf down and he's not going to be able to return it back to the hand. Too bad my abrupt case is not going to do very much, at least with this hand. There's this tower. So now we get stomping ground with this land. Play a big old Tarmogoyf. Get my 5-6.
If he puts the shields down, I'm gonna play another Goyf. Yeah, put the shields down. Yeah, I'm not gonna play into this Condescend. I might think about it next turn, because next turn he can uh, Thirst for Knowledge. So I might jam into the Thirst for Knowledge, just to make sure that doesn't happen. Attack with Tarmor, play another Tarmor, and then they put a card on the bottom and you put a card on the top. You can't like mind slate. We're basically worried about like Ugin. Ugin, Ugin next turn would be bad news. But as long as we don't get Ugin, we're in pretty good shape, I think. All is dust would be bad. Okay. Got it. Okay, this is another matchup where we're gonna board out, board these out, bring in battle rages, we're gonna get rid of our fatal pushes, bring in stubs. Probably this last K command is fine. I don't think terminate's that good. Because like only I'm terminating our worm coils, and like at that point the game's already over. Cut one of these. And maybe bring in like a brutality. Nah, brutality doesn't seem very good. Now I'll bring it, I'll keep the terminate. You might have like treasure mage or something like that. <sighs> this guy used to stream a lot. I don't think I've seen him stream in a while. So we hit another land that's hand fair again. I'm gonna keep this. Another mulligan. We get a redraw. We would like a potential death shadow on two. We get a large time of life on two. Okay, vision map. Okay, let's scry. Polluted Delta. We don't want polluted Delta. Watery Grave. Cycle. Okay, command's not bad. So we're gonna try land Death Shadow next turn, and we're gonna jam it into whatever he's doing here because that means he doesn't get to crack his expedition map if he wants to counterspell this. And you now that's that changes things up. So let's go get Blood Crypt. Thought sees. If he counters this, I'll just play Death Shadow. Okay, Oblivion Stone doesn't do anything. Con like, none of these cards do anything, so I'm just going to take this Condescend right now. Just so I can get the Shadow down. I can hit either of his... I can deal with either of these spells that matter with K-Command. Dog's waking up. You do a dispensable big draw. Okay, um. Hey, Philly. Stop that. Alright, well, we're gonna play Tarmogoy. This chalice is like annoying, but we should be able to play through it. There's Ghost Quarter. Play this just to get, put the squeeze on our opponent. I should have thought about that more. I could have easily done like K command. Or I should I just didn't think about that long enough to be satisfied with that decision for me. I'm gonna ditch this terminate. 
But he's actually dead next turn to a command. Okay, so he ditched Oblivion Stone. So what does that mean? He's got like a repeal? Snapcaster Mage. Okay, so he's just gonna dismember my Glyph. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's rough, but such is life. Solemn. All right. So how does this work? Destroy, target player discards a card. So this one doesn't work the way that I want it to. Okay, so return, return target creature from your graveyard, destroy target artifact. I'm gonna go get another red source. Oh, we can't get another red source. We boarded it out. Alright, well, hopefully, he does not see what we're doing. And I'm just gonna hold this. Not do anything with this. I wanna keep all my cards. We kill him through a double block next turn if he doesn't ditch, if he doesn't get rid of this. And if we find a fetch land, we can still kill him through a double block. We're just gonna let this go. We don't want him to draw another card. Alright, so he saw this. Swamp. Next land. Six, sorry. All right, got there. Three quick matches. And death shadowing people left and right. That's why we just played against three non like non interactive decks, and we have a we have like a clunky setup to start. We still just ran him over, ran each one of our opponents over. I'm gonna grab some water. It's almost dinner time, buddy. After this league, I'll feed you and I'll take you out. I'll actually feed you after this match and then take you out in between leagues. I hope everyone in the chat's having a good start, or good, I guess it's the end of the day now. I'm, I'm so used to playing in the morning. All right, I would like to play first. I would like to mull again. I'll keep this hand. A little thought sees Tarma Wife action. This is nice because I get to keep a scry if I like it. If I like it. All right. Opponent obliges. Goes down with me. Yeah, we'll keep this. My shadow's gonna be delayed a term. That's fine. Okay, so we'll just take this. They put a card on the bottom. So we're playing against like a white, red, death and taxes deck. Pope's hand's not very good. Double ether vial is like another mulligan. Our deck's much better set up against these decks than it used to be. Hopefully we draw like a cheap spell so that we can double spell on three. Or another turn or just anything that lets me just use. Because I have kind of an inefficient turn three setup. I even wouldn't mind it if I hit a Blood Braid Elf. Because then I could just traverse for a basic. Plains Vile. 
right? Okay, so we knew that was there. So let's get an overgrown tomb. Play the man, the myth, the legend, the Garmatoif. I love Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf is like such a special place in my heart. So I'd like anything here that costs two or one to draw, or a Blood Ray Elf, because that means I can make a, have a really efficient next turn. Because my next turn's like not super, like I'm not doing a lot. Here comes a Vile more than likely. No, they're not playing the Vile. Which means they probably drew a path, which kind of sucks. So I'm, not, I'm just going to attack. I'm going to cycle Street Wraith before damage, but... This has got to get Path, I would assume. Wow, no way. Why didn't they play the other Vile? That blows my mind. They're just waiting for this Death Shadow, like... I have no idea what's going on. Like, there's nothing better to path on this turn than that Tarma Life. Like, okay. There's... They're just like, screw it, I didn't want to... I didn't want my turn to be efficient. Or maybe they're keeping that Aether Vial to discard to like a Liliana or something like that. I don't know. Because you might as well just play the Vial, like... Two out of the four. So now I have to be careful about Leon and Arbiter. That could be annoying. We're just gonna barrel into our opponent in this combat phase. I don't think there's anything they can play that's really gonna punish me. Crack my opponent for 12 and make the Tarmogoyf lethal as well. I still think my opponent has a piece of interaction here. I really don't want to go like too low though and get smacked, so I think we're just gonna like we're just gonna wait. My opponent's still gonna be in the abyss. I'm gonna just go get a tap. Blood Crypt. Lethalia. This is a pump fake. This is a decent pump fake. Not enough people pump fake with their... Yeah, with their vials. Now I can't really traverse for an elf, which is a little sad, unless they block in combat. So they have another two, so they have more business. Raven Inspector, okay. So I have two out of three cards. Oh wow, they're getting feisty. So Sacred Foundry, Ether Vial. Here comes the Sacred Foundry. Let's see what our opponent's casting. <coughs> or let's say that they're drawing, I guess. They're drawing a Blade Splicer. Blade Splicer is very good. So now both creatures are lethal. No, they're not. They're mine. I'm at five. That Blade Splicer is going to be pretty annoying. Okay, nothing. 
I don't understand what's going on here. I just, I do not get it. We're just gonna traverse her shadow and play a shadow, I'd say. Give me with another one here. Alright, well now I'm just gonna play this. Give this blood break out. Give me more outs. This this Blade Splicer is gonna put they're gonna put like a quite a lot of power on the battlefield. And I think I want to play to like interaction. So they have the vial, they have the blade splicer now. a Sarah Avenger I get got. That's a Dire Fleet Daredevil. So, okay, I know there are two cards. So it's kind of difficult for them to attack me because if they attack me and they don't draw another card to put in off this Ether Vial, then... If they attack me and they don't put another good card in off the vial, then they're in trouble. Okay, so they found a good card to put in off the easy vial. Or a card to put in off the main phase. The good thing is they're just dead to a removal spell. Bolt? Okay, I do a bolt. Alright. Well, we weren't beating bolt no matter what we traversed for. Alright, we want all of our grindy cards. I don't like Liliana the Veil in this matchup. <laughs> um, they probably get all the way up to Restoration Angel, so I don't want to just take out too much of that. Collective Brutality is like medium, but I think all my other cards are better. I would normally board in Battle Rages against a deck like this, but I think that like Bloodbraid Elves are just... I don't know what I would take out. Like I could cut two more thought seizes. That just slows my deck down a lot. I'll probably board in a lot more. Like I'm gonna board out some stuff on the draw to make my deck a little leaner. But that was a tough one to lose. I feel like I tossed that one at some point. At some point in that mat in that game, like I I think I threw that. I'm not exactly sure where, but I'm pretty sure that it happened. Um, AGN Steel Trident, follow if you're still in there, thank you very much. I keep my volume down on my, uh, on my stream just because I want to be able to, like, hear. Um, I want to be, I don't want it to, like, because if it goes through the, whatever it is, this, the sound system from the, uh, computer, it messes with my YouTube videos. Oh, this hand's very good. This is like a potential turn two death shadow. Anger of the gods could mess with us a little bit. I like that we have the next, the other blood crypt. I don't mind drawing a land here, so we'll do this before we fetch. Okay. So now go get overgrown tomb. This is gonna get blood crypts. We're gonna, have, we might just go. Actually, we'll probably just get. Full gen lands, but I can't get full gen lands now because I went with the wrong one. That's frustrating. So I'm gonna leave myself a little bit open to ghost quarter here. All right, relics fine. Ether vial, blade splicer, flicker wisp. What they do? They put a card on the bottom. I think I'm just gonna take this blade splicer. This ether vial, ether vial is not doing anything. I think you should board a lot of vials out in these kind of matchups. Like the vials doesn't do a swap hold MTG. Not much. How are you? Inspiring Vantage Ether Vial. Jeez. So now we get Overgrown Tomb, play Double Shadow. So we're going to crack them for 10 next turn. And have Anger of the Gods back up. I like the Anger of the Gods I've added to this deck. After playing another, I've added like a third red Shockland. 
And now I think I, can, I used to play. I play. I tried with 18 lands. Thought it was a little small. Like what didn't quite wasn't quite comfortable what was going on. Then played a um, mountain, and I didn't like having three lands. It didn't hurt myself. So now I've moved over to the Blood Crypt, and I really like the Blood Crypt. I think the Blood Crypt is really good in this deck. I'm definitely going to have to thin my deck out after sideboard. Because after like when I'm on the draw, because I have like a lot of three drops. So let's get in here for half my opponent's life total. Then we'll hold up this K command. I could almost kill my opponent right now. Like I would be, I can do, I can put them to two because I could shock myself and return Street Wraith. And if I, I probably could have gone for it there. So if I, if I would have drawn another land, a land would have got it to me and I could have fatal, I could have won through a fatal push. But like they already showed me lightning bolt, so I would be actually down one bolt. And I guess there's just no need to do it here. Beer and Crusader would be kind of annoying. All right, so now we're gonna go command discard. Hit this ether vial. Let them make them put something into play. Destroy target artifact. Target play discard card. Target play discard card. Destroy target artifact. Just force their hand. <clears throat> they could have removal for my shadow. Like that's definitely an option. But if this makes them play like a Thalia or Leon and Arbiter, then at least we have the information. Music is pretty loud. That's as low as it goes. Okay, so they ditched Flicker Wisp, so they must have a removal spell. I'm gonna play this in case they have a flash three drop, but so now I have a bolt. Good, awesome. Okay, they're digging. So they found it. All right, we will search. That's not the end of the world. Like, we've still got, like, this shadow is still lethal. I'm going to pop this bobble in my opponent's upkeep so I have revolt through their turn, but I can still draw an extra card. Well, the problem with the weird stuff, Swaggled, is that like it's non-copyright. So it's whatever I can put on YouTube without it being just like blank, blank noise, you know? Okay, so I knew about that planes that was revealed. My opponent has another path. Like we could be in a little bit of trouble. I think it's like just path. We've got Blade Splicer covered, we've got Mirror Crusader covered, we don't have Restoration Angel covered. Dire Fleet Daredevil, we've got that covered. This card's cool, Dire Fleet Daredevil. It's a very cool card. I'm not sure you can main deck this card in Modern, because like there's just so much on it. Like, what if you're playing against Tron and you play this card? I guess it's not too bad because it finds you like Ether Vial, but still. Okay, so on the draw, I think I'd like to get some of these in my deck somehow, but I don't know what I want to cut. I kind of want all of my commands. Maybe I can shave like an Elf, put one of these in. Um, making sure to shave a traverse because they're probably going to have like some graveyard hate. Yeah, we'll try this. I want a couple, I want to be a little leaner, 
But like all, all of my like all of my threes are so good. They deal with Kuligon's command, like We just don't want to see a Thalion one. Thalion or Thalion two. Thalion one would be really annoying. They go like Simeon Land, Simeon Spear Guide, Thalia. I wonder if this deck plays Magus of the Moon. I'm gonna ship this. It feels like Magus of the Moon would be in this deck's range. All right, I mean, we have a catch-up card. This hand's not great. Not great at all. We don't want that. We'll draw another land naturally for this elf. Spine advantage. Underrated man land. Okay. I really don't want to see a Leon and Arbiter. Leon and Arbiter would be really bad. Don't Leon and Arbiter me. Oh, that's pretty gross. Can we get Blood Crypt? This card's gonna be, this is gonna be super annoying to play around. At least we have the forest, so that like next turn, I can play around it. Because like if it goes quarter me now, I can pay. This is gonna be tough to tough to get around this. So at least the needle spires relieves a little bit of pressure. My opponent takes a turn off, okay. Alright, that's actually not bad. So I can go pay, go get another blood crypt, and thought seize my opponent. We're getting low on life total. For sure. All right, we're gonna get. Oh wow! I'm just dead. I gotta take this. That's so bad. Because if I had taken a Restoration Angel, they would just gone Lightning Bolt me. So I just have to hope that they don't cast this rest, like this restoration angel for a while. Oh, I get to rip in anger next turn and then get in there. I don't really, I don't really know. We're in, I'm in a lot of trouble. We are stuck between a rock and a hard place. And if my opponent draws a land, then we're just dead. They're going to hold up Restoration Angel. And then we're just dead to these, like, we're dead to the Needle Spires now. If they draw a land, we're dead to Needle Spires. I just like I don't see how we get out of this. Which sucks. I need to draw like fatal push into lightning bolt. I think. I think those are my outs.
What is my opponent doing? Uh, I think my opponent's gonna give me a shot here. Because I can go to one, command, play Tarmogoyf. So this gets Overgrown Tomb. My Lex Land gets me Swamp. So play Goyf, Kolagon's command up. Yeah. All right, we're in it. And then we get to cast the Blood Braid Elf. Oh my gosh. I have so much more life now. Um, so this gives us plus two, plus oh, engage Vigilance and Haste. So are there no creatures in the graveyard? Are there instants? I want to kill Shatter Discard. I'm not beating a Restoration Angel at any point, so... So we're just going to go up and up. So target player discards a card, destroy target artifact, red. Even if my opponent draws a land, we have that covered. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Because we can just eat the needle spires, take one. I'm going to play this land because I, I probably will fetch. Oh, I already played my land, okay. Now we're at the mercy. I don't understand why they shock. Bang. And I'm just serving in with this Tarma Life. Like, we're not beating. We're not beating like anything from our opponent here, so we're just gonna get in with this goyf. Block this blood the needle spires with blood braid elf. I'm gonna just play another land. Holy shnikes, this is this is intense. I guess I could have attacked the blood braid elf and I only lose one point. Yeah, I should have attacked the blood braid elf and head back to Tomer Goyf. Because it is only, like, I am trying to finish the game quickly, but this would hold this back. And I'd be, like, slowly dealing with this. Yeah, that was dumb. The one point of damage isn't going to matter, and my battlefield would be more stable here. I'm going to fetch and go to one. I don't think there's any difference here. Especially with how like this board state is. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for like... Just anything to impact the board. That did not impact the board. Okay, so we'll pass. Yeah, that was stupid. I would have a... I'd have a I have Blood Braid Elf and I could be clocking with Blood Braid Elf and like playing defense with Tarmogoy, so this was all dumb. Yeah, I messed this up. Which is frustrating. Yeah, Relic's gonna Relic's gonna slow down my chances even more. Alright, well this at least trades with one of these.
so I'm gonna cast it. <clears throat> that relic's gonna turn off my turn off a couple of my draws. At least the Street Wraith at least gets a Needle Spires off the table and is gonna pump my Tarmal Wife up to where it'll trade with another Needle Spires after damage or after this resolves here. These man lands are just like, oh man. I probably shouldn't let people just post random links in this chat. Cause like, I haven't checked out what that is. I really enjoy the content. I only really watch your videos on YouTube. Well, I appreciate the, uh, the kind words there, sir. really appreciate that. The best thing you can do to support that is to subscribe to me on YouTube if you get the chance. It's free. I, I would love that. It would make make my day, sir. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to go feed my pup and then come back for the last match. View deck. All right. I'm gonna get you some food, and then I wanna come back and get you water after my match. Then I'll take you out. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Let's hopefully we can get the 4-1 and today's... I'll probably end my stream actually after the... Maybe? I don't know. Uh, what do we got there? Aust Austin's Zabamancer. I appreciate both of you guys' follows. Swag God subscribed to me on, on uh, YouTube, which is great. So let's hope we can squeak out the old 4-1. The Gunslingers are playing against Todd Stevens. All right. Big match. Big match. I wonder what he's going to take. I wouldn't be surprised if he took my thoughts. Please. I feel like we're probably playing a Jund mirror, playing against Jund. I think he's going to take the Thoughtsies. If I had to guess, yeah. That's a nice card to draw. We're going to be able to get to Elf, and we're going to Delirium, we get to Elf, and we're going to get to 13 life, so we aren't really going to have any bad hits. Let's just hope that he doesn't draw, a, like, if he plays, oh. What is this, like a Mardu Pyromancer deck? All right, so I'm going to have to mine my life total here.
Turn off auto yields. No, don't. All right, I'm gonna get this shadow into play. It's probably gonna die, but it is putting quite a bit of pressure on. It's just it's just something to get on the board with. A lingering souls here is gonna make me puke. Oh god, he commanded it. That's gross. And we're just like flooding out a little bit. Which is unfortunate. We're gonna have to start like these blood rails are going to be gasoline for us. Like, we're going to have to hit probably like some K commands, probably some Liliana's. We do get to draw two cards off of this, which is nice. Don't want that. Not at this point in the game. Get this into play tapped. And then I'm gonna shock myself so that my shadow is larger than a lightning bolt. Okay, traverse is good. Tarnal wife is good as well. So let's just start the elf train. Cast this. So we get our get a Tarma Wife. Good hit. Next turn we're gonna traverse for another Blood Bright Elf, play Blood Bright Elf. He's only got three cards left in his hand, so he doesn't really have a lot going on. If you like Fatal pushes this, then they're still okay. Alright. We're gonna have a, like a wicked attack next turn. Gotta fetch basic forest just to protect my life total. There's a K command that's kind of annoying. No, it's a brutality. Oh, so he ditches a faithless living, which sucks. Alright, we're gonna have this big Tarma Wife going at least. And my Dreadboard Jeez. It's a good good turn for Mr. Stevens. Oh, that's a great draw. So let's go. We're gonna return Blood Red Elf, make them discard a card. I guess I might as well actually just kill this. So return target creature from your graveyard. Get this goif down. We're going to cast another elf next turn. Just going back and forth here, back and forth. Okay, that's a good hit. Tilt. Don't play Lingering Souls. Oh, Bedlam Reveler, gross. That's a good magic card. And he drew a fatal push. Jeez. Um, we're likely dead now. But he's going to take one. Cast and it doesn't do enough. Just traverse, go get a Blood Bright Elf, and then hope for the best. Now we're gonna chump this Bedlam Reveler, which kind of sucks. That Thoughtseize was... The Thoughtseize into the Reveler was just so gross. So bolt me. Put me out of my misery. Okay. 
Pitches two lands. Okay, he's got it. Okay, so against this deck, we're gonna look to just like lean out a little bit. Or get, get a little bigger mid range here. I'm gonna bring in these six cards here. Might not bring in the fatal pushes because they're not very good. They're only really good against Pyromancer. So I probably can actually leave that one out. Do something like this. Probably shave two of these. Shave two of these. And then shave like a fatal push. I like brutality because it can help swing races in a pinch. Yeah, let's go like this. That was a fun, fun game. Back and forth. Wicked. Real big back and forth from me and Todd. This Mario Pyromancer deck is like the king of all go over the top decks. Like we we were doing okay until we got Bedlam Revelered, I think. I play with my puppy tonight. He's waking up from his from his nap. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. Um, if y'all like the stream, please follow. If you want to support me, please subscribe on YouTube. You can subscribe here, but that costs money. The other one's free. So, uh, this hand's good. Thought sees Goyf. Lingering Souls is going to be rough to beat with this hand. But, like, such is life while playing Death Shadow, I guess. If we were really going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this deck, we'd bring our own Lingering Souls to the table, and then we'd be able to hang. Yeah, just going to take the Pyromancer. I could have taken... I probably should have taken the Looting, actually, because I have answers to the Pyromancer. That was stupid. I should have just taken the Looting. Yep, that was very dumb. Very bad play from me. Should have taken the Looting. Because now they get to, like, loot into... Like, get card advantage by ditching Lingering Souls. Oh, they actually... Nope, so they kept the looting. Yep, I should have definitely taken the looting. That was a mistake on my part. So I could just go take the looting now. I think I'm going to take the looting now. Either take the looting or the lingering souls. Like either's pretty bad. But I think we're just going to take this. We're going to like deny some filtering. I should have taken that in the first place. All right, we're going to wait on this, and then we're going to hit the back half. I'm going to push one of the Lingering Souls tokens, and then I'm going to hit the back half of the Lingering Souls with a Spell Bomb. Because that's going to give me Delirium, which is going to let me get like a Tarmogoyf. While kind of stunting his growth. I would love to draw land so that I could go like push, spell bomb, crack it, traverse, or time relief. Okay, get this off the battlefield. This I would have had. Delirium anyways with a spell bomb going in the graveyard. Okay, that was a good draw. So now 
crack this. And now I just traverse for Blood Red Elf. And now we just cast the Elf next turn. Just get that train going. It's going to get smoked by the Lightning Bolt, but that's all right. Another Lingering Souls will be pretty rough here. Yeah, that's, that's bad news for the home team. Yeah, Lingering Souls is just vomit-inducing. All right, get rid of that. The next turn, I probably traverse for double shadow, play double shadow. Maybe I had to, I probably actually had to traverse, that was a mistake. Actually, I had to traverse for double shadow this, this turn in order to slow him down. Because he just takes this shot. Puts me to six, flashes back his Lingering Souls, then attacks with three of them, and then kills me the next turn with this Lightning Bolt. Oh, I drew another Lingering Souls. Jeez. Lingering Souls, man. All right, so now if he blocks, at least we can live another turn. So maybe he'll block. <sighs> All right, that sucks. We went from 0 3 we went from 3 out of 3 2, which is always rough. Um, let's open up this treasure chest for everybody that's watching at home. That sucks. We were we were like right on the verge of doing something good, getting making some profit. Ion storm if you're deadlands, the swing and a miss. So I hope everyone has a good rest of their um, day. I'm gonna send you guys over to. One, two, three. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. If you'd like to support me a lot, the best, then subscribe to me on Twitch or on Twitter. So thank you very or subscribe to me on YouTube. So thank you very much. Bye. And have a good rest of your night.